Hello, my name is Wayne Godso from the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This tech tip will cover the steps to remotely control a phone using the Avaya Diagnostic Server. We'll use the following steps to remotely control a phone using the Avaya Diagnostic Server. First, we'll log into the Avaya Diagnostic Server web interface using the admin user ID and password created during the server installation. Then we'll select the Agent tab to view the available agents on the server. We'll select the Remote Control tab, then the Agent Remote option. Then we'll select the magnifying glass icon to bring up the Agent Search window. Next, we'll select the phone sets you want to control from the list of agents and select Continue. A window tab for each phone set will appear, allowing you to control the phone sets you have selected. Select one tab and place a remote control call to another set using the GUI interface. You can toggle between the phone set window tabs to control each of the sets. In our example, we'll log into the Avaya Diagnostic Server web interface using the admin user ID and password created during the server installation. Select Continue when prompted. Select the Agent tab to view the available agents on the server. You'll notice all of the agents are listed at the bottom of the page. Select the Remote Control tab, followed by the Agent Remote option. Next, we'll select the magnifying glass icon to bring up the Agent Search window. Select the phone sets you want to control from the list of agents and select Continue. A window tab for each phone set will appear, allowing you to control the phone sets you have selected. In this phone set window tab, you will see the following. The phone set key menu used to control the set. These menu buttons are all active. The LED button menu and status indicator. This is a read-only display indicator. The event log that captures all key activity. You can cut and paste this information into a text editor to capture the information if required the Refresh Image, Enable and Disable Event Monitor option menu, and finally, the read-only call display menu of the set displaying current activity. To place a call between our sets, we will enter the set extension in the text box and hit the call button. You will see the call display change to active, the event logs will begin capturing activity, and the Line 1 LED button status will now turn to green, indicating a call on that specific line. Now we'll toggle to the other phone set tab and answer our incoming call. We'll see our call display status shows an incoming call, so we'll select the Line 1 button to answer the call. Our call display is now showing an active call, and our LED status button for line 1 has now changed to green, indicating the call has been established. As you can see, using the phone remote control feature on the Avaya Diagnostic Server is a quick and easy procedure. This feature will allow technicians to test a number of call setup and feature functionality issues remotely, saving valuable time and effort. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.